Hello YouTube, this is NDC Gaming and I'm here with some NCAA Football 13 gameplay. Now this match is between the Oregon Ducks and the Tennessee Volunteer. Now in this gameplay I'm playing as the Oregon Ducks, they're one of my favorite football teams and I just returned the first kick of the game for a touchdown and you'll see I'm starting here, I'm playing with one minute quarters because I tried playing with longer quarters but it took a long time. I was in the third quarter and there was still like 30 minutes left and I didn't want to have, I didn't want to post a really long video so I just shortened the quarters but it's still an exciting game. Now, I was thinking about maybe posting NCAA games on like Saturday because that's when most of the NCAA games are on on TV. And so I had recorded this on Saturday because Oregon and Tennessee were playing that day and I was thinking maybe for a new series idea I could post big matchups that are happening on that day. I could play them in NCAA and then post them that day. And if you guys like it, I'll keep doing that. And if you don't, then I'll stop. So leave some feedback about that idea in the comments section. And then I was also thinking about maybe posting Madden games, also like big matchups that are happening that day either on Sunday or Monday or maybe both and then I started a Minecraft Let's Play world recently and I recorded an episode or two and I just wanted to see what you guys thought about those ideas so yeah if you guys like it uh, say so in the comments if you don't uh, then also say so I'm gonna be posting those and see what you guys think now back to this gameplay you can see I'm up 7-0 I scored off of the kick return the first kick return of the game I brought that one back and now Tennessee has the ball and it looks like they're moving the ball fairly easily against this Oregon defense now he's gonna drop back in the pocket and complete it for the first down but then he gets he gets stopped fairly quickly after the catch now we get set up for the next play and the QB, after bringing that guy in motion, he, he's calling something out. He drops back in the pocket, makes a quick throw to number 21, who is hit pretty hard by number 47. Now the Volunteers are going to get set up to the line pretty quickly because there's only 47 seconds left for them to score. And the QB drops back in the pocket again. And he hits his tight end for a short, what should be a short game, but then he breaks the tackle. And then everyone else has to come back over to tackle him. Now Tennessee gets lined up really quickly, seeing as they only have 30 seconds to go. And right now it freezes here. This is a technical problem with my computer that I'm using to record this. It has to, my Dell is the only one that can record it. And it's not very fast, so it can't keep up with all the frames. Like, if I get the software for my Mac, I should be able to do this, but it'll come back in a second. Yeah, right here. We didn't miss anything. He tries to throw for the touchdown, but the cornerback is there to break it up. Now, I thought that should have been an interception, but at least we didn't give up the touchdown. Now, it is third and three, and we need a stop to keep Tennessee out of our end zone. They're, they're almost in the red zone. And we haven't been able to stop them once this drive, so... And <laughs> another missed tackle. The QB breaks it, and that's a touchdown to the tight end. And now it's 6-7, and unless they miss the PAT or we block it, which really doesn't happen in these games, it's going to be 7-7 seven, seven right here. I'm trying to get to the outside so I can block it, but it's just not going to happen. It does snap the ball anytime soon. There we go. You see, we. <laughs> it just. You can't block PATs in this game. And now, if any of you guys have ever blocked a PAT and you know how, uh, you could say so in the comments, like say how to, because I just don't know how to do that. And now we're getting the ball back. And if you remember last kick return, we returned it for a touchdown. And I moved. I don't know what I was doing there. But I moved so I wasn't able to return it. And now I have 23 seconds to try to get down the field and score a touchdown. And that is one of the disadvantages of playing short quarters.
And you'll see I like to hurry up. I want to get up to the line as quick as possible so I can get off as many plays as we possibly can. And we get that route to the to the sideline and we're able to get out of bounds to stop the clock. But the ref wants to take a look at it. Now in college you only have to get one foot in bounds and there is that one foot. That is the completion. <laughs> I'd be so mad if they overturned that. See, that ref has a clear line. He should see that I got one foot in and it is good. Now, the ref is here to make his ruling. Sorry, for some reason, whenever I transfer it over to my Mac, it doesn't have sound. But he said the ruling on the field is confirmed. Now, whenever they say it's confirmed, that means it's like for sure they see it's clear. But whenever they say it stands, you know, there's just not enough evidence to overturn it. And we get up to the line quickly, and we're just trying to move the ball down the field, maybe get in the field goal range. I mean, I really want the touchdown, so I'm going long here. I use her that catch, and we are inside the 10 yard line. It's first and goal from the eight, and we're just, we have 12 seconds left. We're just trying to get into the end zone. Now, when I'm inside the 10-yard line, I don't like to really throw a whole lot of passes. I don't want to throw an interception when I'm this close, so I like to run it. But there, they they just get the best of me, and they stop us, but we still get a two-yard gain. Second and goal from the six, it's all good. We're probably still going to run it again. I have faith in my running back. Who is this? Is it DeAnthony Thomas right now? No, it, we, we're not running with DeAnthony Thomas, but I still still have faith in him and it pays off we get the touchdown right before half and we are up 13-0 but we're gonna get this PAT and go up 14-0 into the half now I'm gonna skip over the the last five seconds I just kick it off and they they kneel and then we're gonna kick it off again because we receive I see. I like this EA uh, thing that they do with ESPN and showing like the halftime score. It's really nice. Now I think I might have been looking at my computer screen. That's why it took so long for me to kick it off. But here we go. That's a nice kick in the back of the end zone. I don't think he's going to return this. Yeah, that's a smart move. Now here we go. We are back on defense. But Tennessee is trying to tie this game back up. They need a touchdown here because there's only a, it's a one minute quarter, and then it'll be the fourth, which so there's two minutes pretty much until the game ends, and they really need a touchdown. Now they're bringing their fullback in motion. He's set and a handoff. That is a good first down play. Eight yards on the handoff, so it is second and two. They're showing the replay here. Now, you'll see on defense, I like to bring a lot of pressure. And if they throw any short routes, we're going to pay if they get it off before the pressure gets to him. Now, they run this play here. They had two in the backfield, and they do throw a short pass. But the Oregon defense is so quick. They get to him and knock the ball out before he has a chance to do anything. Now Tennessee is getting to the line. I think I chose Thundersmoke to this play. And we're going to line up. We're hoping to finally get a stop. Shut them down on third down. Like I don't think we've ever stopped them on third down. And then they run this play here. You see this guy streaking across. And he hits him, and that could have been a touchdown if he would have been able to get to the outside. But we are fortunate and are able to get tackle him and not give up that a, a giant play. We still have a chance to stop them. Maybe we get them outside of field goal range, and they're not able to score. But the QB, he has time in the pocket. He completes that for another first down. So it is first and 10 with 12 seconds left in the third. You see his stats there, 8 for 10, 103 yards. He is playing an efficient game, and that's why we can't stop them. He's the QB, just he's in rhythm. He's completing everything. They're just getting first down after first down. Now the third quarter is running down, but they want to get off one more play and another first down play. We just can't give up stuff like that on defense. He just, they're running it for first downs. 
Now we're going into the fourth quarter, and this drive is crucial because we may have to go into overtime if we give up a touchdown here and aren't able to score. The QB's up to the line already. He's ready. Now he's dropping back in the pocket. He's got all the time in the world like usual. But then I use her this big hit, and I was so I was I was so happy because we haven't been able to stop them. But our defense comes up big, knocking the ball out loose. And now here I want to score again because I just I just like scoring. And so I hand this off. That's a nice run to the outside. You'll see it's second and 13 because I skipped the first play. We just lost three yards. And that is a big run. Nice, like, 15-yard run right there. And I just skipped the rest of that because nothing really happens. It's fourth and two, and I'm going to run out the clock. I'm not going to punt it. And that is game. We end up winning 14-7. to seven. Now, I wanted to take a moment to say I'm getting near 50 subs. I think I have 46 at the moment. And I would just like to take some time to say thank you to all the subs and fans and people who are loyal to this channel. And if you can, you know, keep watching the videos, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't. But thanks. And this is another episode from NDC Gaming.